Hello, Ness. So, how is your adventure going? Hmm, I see. Sounds like you're having some tough times then. Your teacher dropped by, looking for you. Don't worry, I covered for you. Everything is fine here. You just keep on trucking. Well, my soap opera is getting to a really steamy part, so I'd better let you go. Bye. Click, beep, beep, beep. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Earthbound. Last time, Pooh left with the Star Master to learn the Star Storm, which sounds like an interpretive dance. This time, Jeff is... Ah... Uh, two IQ away. Two from repairing the... Where is it? The broken bazooka. Ah, oh, it'll be great. The days will be great. And to start off this episode, I'm going to have Paula drink a very sophisticated cup of coffee. Why? Because I feel like it. She had full health, but who cares? My statistics show about Scooby-Doo. I don't know why I say Scooby-Doo when I can think of anything else to say, but now that you know that's what I do, you'll know. Keep this board in... <laughs> ah, that took me off guard. Keep this board in mind. Brick Road. Thank you for that gem of wisdom knowledge to go in my mind brain. Mystical record stopped moving and the worthless protoplasm was not as worthless as the uh, broken record because the broken record it was smashed to pieces. Even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick Road. So, we're going to be going through Brick Road, and the main gimmick of this dungeon is that there are weak enemies here, and also signs that contain funny one-liners, and we're going to be reading them all. Place an item at the dead end. You're free to take it whenever you want. Brick Road. What is in here? It is the ba da ba 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 Malakia soup. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. I you know, recently the uh, the McDonald's jingle's been stuck in my head. And I should go the other way, and it it's strange because I've not I have not been to McDonald's in a long time. I went to Taco Bell for the first time in my life um, yesterday. No, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, which was insane that I'd never been to a Taco Bell, even though for 12 years I lived five minutes away from a Taco Bell. I never had Taco Bell, but it's good. I'm a fan. While you explore the dungeon, why don't you make a pit stop? Brick Road. I wonder why I'm in this restroom right now. Just who am I? What is life all about? Oh, I'm sorry, did I make you nervous? I'm not dangerous, don't worry! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Wait! No, I was gonna say, are they referencing the hand in the toilet? No, they're not. Because that did not exist yet. Okay, what's up here? Probably something good? There's a useful item at the dead end after you make a quite a long walk. Brick Road. Is that true? Cup of life? No, yes, that's very true. Thank you, sir. Which is good that I got a couple life noodles, even though I have like 20. Uh, because there are enemies here that can diamondize me, and that they, and they probably will. Uh, there are lesser mooks on the third floor, and those are bad. Once a dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. Brick Road, that's true. That is true. I've never played a dungeon where there weren't enemies or monsters, because it just seems like a natural fact for them to do that. Items that are easy to get to are usually disappointing, Brick Road. So, this pr item probably shouldn't wow me. Five bucks! You know, I could get... <laughs> I could totally get at Taco Time... Taco Bell, sorry. I could get a chicken quesadilla at Taco Bell with a crunchy taco and a small drink for five ninety-five at a Taco Bell. This episode was sponsored by Taco Bell. Yum. <laughs> That's their motto. Don't be a slacker. If you work hard, you'll get good stuff. Brick Road. I couldn't agree more with the opinion on the left billboard. Brick Road. Uh, the humor is good. The super plush bear inside. You know, <laughs> I, I can be humorous too, game. Uh, what happens if... Knock, knock, who's there? What happens if you eat a bear? Answer, you get full. Wasn't that funny? I did pun joke. <laughs> How I do joke. Uh, my jokes are the best. Like, uh, the one, the one where it's like, what happens when lightning strikes a tree? And then I'm all like, it falls down. And then you're like, oh, that was not funny. And then there's my other one, where I'm like, bro, what was, it, what was the thing that... Oh, no, it, that's not how it goes. When President Obama took office, he promised change. What was the first thing he tried to do? He tried to get rid of the penny. Okay, I'm gonna stop with my jokes. 
Oh, the worthless protoplasm has a friend. So he's not that worthless. He's... He has buddies. Good job, protoplasm, eh? For, for inviting a, buzz, a buddy, you just got bashed in the face by a, a small man carrying a baseball bat. And you get smashed in the face with a small man carrying... I have no idea what Jeff has equipped right now. It's like the, the beam or something? A cookie. Okay, whatever. Okay, let's continue on as I talk about something. Um, you remember uh, some number of episodes ago when we went to Dusty Dunes Desert? I had mentioned that I'd never been to a desert. Well, first of all, that's wrong. I've been to Idaho, so that counts. But second of all, I went to, uh, I went to Eastern Washington, and I experienced what deserts were like. Uh, I live in western, southwestern Washington, so <laughs> that's like the, as almost a tropical rain flood planet climate, bro. Uh, and so I went to uh, eastern Washington. The first thing I noticed was that it's dead silent. It's pretty cool. You don't hear trains, planes, automobiles, or cows. You hear nothing, except maybe the occasional rattlesnake. I built a bulletin board without a message. Brick Road. You know, I can't wait till I find that bulletin board, because then it will be bulletin board, and I'll say to myself, I found it. But the second thing, well, actually, the second thing I noticed is that my allergies actually didn't bother me at all, even though, as far as the eye could see, uh, was dead grass and dust. But the third thing I noticed was that it was very deserty. If you work hard, you don't have time to get burned. Truth-ish. I mean, if you work in a... If you own a forge, I guess you could still get burned. Although that's not technically burned, that's more like melted. Forges are hot. I have I have experienced this. Learn from your mistakes. Follow this and you're bound to be successful in Earthbound. Brick Road. So Brick Road's like this <laughs> this dungeony master dude that knows about games and the fourth wall because he knows about the fourth wall because he broke it a long time ago. Okay, let's go in here. You have to be you have a strong looking body. Wouldn't you like to be a dungeon worker? Brick Road. Uh, no, not really. I'd rather be a, um... You know, I'd rather be like a... A pizza worker. Or, I would work in an ice cream factory. That'd be a fun job, except I probably wouldn't get ice cream. Okay, let's move on before I talk about more incredibly random things. This is the second floor of my body, Brick Road. Good to know. We are now on the second floor of his body. Thought you should know that. And... In case you, in case you're wondering, I am fighting all the enemies I see because I want Ness to get a level. Up, oh boy, or Jeff to get a level up so he can get uh, the IQs, all the IQs, so we can repair repair the broken cannon. Because if I can get the broken cannon repaired this episode, that means I don't have to pay to sleep. I can just use the benches. Ness levels now 51. Offense one by one, vitality one by one, HP one by seven, PP one by two. And with that level up, uh. If I, if I life up Ness, that should, yes, he has 405 HP now. What a, what's a dungeon? That is my eternal question, Brick Road. Good to know. Uh, let's see, I believe I should go this way because this way leads to the dead end. Ness opened the present. Ness and his friends got 10 bucks. I put out a bulletin board, but it's probably unnecessary. Oh, oh, look up there. You see that? That's kind of, well, it's sort of a rare appearance. That is a Dolly's Clock from Moonside. Yes, Moonsidian enemies will spawn in the Dungeon Man, which makes me wonder what he, wh how he did that. That's a hole down below. You don't have to worry about this for now, Brick Road. Okay, uh, where else can I go? Is there a sign over here? No, it's just a platform letting us know that there are signs down there. Let's go, you know, I don't need the bench. Let's... Just go down here and progress with the place. Down here is a sign that says probably something hilariously funny. Inside the dungeon, flash photography is prohibited, which means that the camera guy will immediately spawn. No. No, actually. So it really is prohibited. Interesting. That's ironic that a game would actually do what it said it would do, or not do, rather. You are standing right around my belly button. Brick Road. Good to know. So that's his belly button right here, I guess. Or here, or... I don't know. They really didn't make the shape, so... I wish they had. That would have been a funny touch. But unfortunately, they are not into navels in this game. They are in Pikmin. They really are in Pikmin. In fact, there's an entire game, uh, entire area named after navel. Uh, there's an item at the dead, at the dead end. 
but I've been known to be wrong occasionally. Sorry. Brick road. Up here is the path that we need to go. This music is one of my greatest accomplishments, Brick Road. You know, I guess while I'm just going through here, it smells like flowers here, if, but if you can't smell it, your nose must be stuffy. That is also... Both of those are true. It is flower here, and it's also my allergies. Uh, but I, last episode, I predicted Nintendo's E3 performance, and I, protect, I predicted, one, that it was going to be not so good because they don't really have any games to announce, so they probably are just going to announce upgrades to games they already have. Dungeon exploration is, f is tough, but it's also fun. Brick Road. And I was right, sort of, but also Nintendo really should have listened to me before they they decided to make some games, because n basically what Nintendo did is they said, okay, we have no games to announce, so let's just make games that we sh probably shouldn't. Uh, they they announced a new Mario Tennis. They announced, uh, they announced Metroid Prime Federation Force, which is not actually Metroid Prime. It's basically just 3v3 Halo Light. Yeah, they didn't like do anything with it. It's sad. They announced all these bad games, but they could have just announced the, uh, like one or two. <sighs> there are lots of monsters up there, but don't stress out. Brick Road. They also announced um, Zelda Triforce Heroes, which, let me just rename it, The Legend of Zelda, uh, Zelda Three Swords Adventures. That's pretty much what it is. Mad Duck. They can be nice pet if they stay far away. Brick Road. And this just says I'm third. you're in the third floor of my body. I wish bodies had floors. That'd be cool. Gruff Goat. They are, you, they are a really gruff kind of goat. Brick Road. So it's the zoo, I guess. Which... There is no zoo in uh, Earthbound, though there is in Mother 1, and is there in Mother 3? I don't know, but don't spoil it for me, because I need to play Mother 3 for myself on the channel. Slimy Little Pile, he has a bad habit of burping, Brick Road. Uh, are there any presents on this floor? Actually, I don't think there are. No, there's one down there, and I should have gone down there instead of going up here. Uh, they also announced Star Fox Zero, which is a game that I already knew that they were going to announce. Uh, it's, it's Star Fox, but... In typical Nintendo fashion. Also, I don't even want that, that towel, so I won't take it. Why don't you take a nice little rest here? And I will, while I talk about E3. Uh, yeah, Star Fox Zero, uh, they did Star Fox, but in typical Nintendo fashion, they didn't do the things that, Ninten that the fans would want Nintendo to do for a Star Fox game. For example, instead of just saying, hey, you can play with the control sticks and have a blast, they said instead... You're going to use the Wii U gamepad, the entire thing. You're going to angle it so it's essentially um, F Face Raiders, the launch title or the mini game that comes on every 3DS machine. Uh, so it's basically glorified Face Raiders. Yeah. Good job. You finally made it. There's a board upstairs that, st upstairs that says that. Brick Road. Yeah, in case I you couldn't tell, I'm not impressed with Nintendo's E3 performance. Although they did, they did do a couple things that I called. Uh, they announced... Roy and Ryu for Smash 4. That's confirmed. I called it. Uh, and I don't think they have talked about Zelda U at all at E3. So, good times. Good job. You finally made it. Brick Road. Okay, let's go up here before I, I criticize Nintendo's E3 performance anymore. That face is mine. Feel free to talk to it. Brick Road. Welcome. Long time no see. Mr. Jeff, we met in winters a long time ago. I'm Brick Road. Dr. Andrew, that's finally made me Dungeon Man. If you want, I'll come with you guys for a while. The return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and then walk out. And he speaks the truth, like he has the entire time. There's a hole over there that is the goodbye exit, uh, but we cannot get there because the sign is blocking it. But remember it for later. And we can get our way out in the holes that we've seen a couple times thus far because we have not been able to get to them. And there's an IQ capsule in here. Uh, let's see. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, I need to, I need to give some food to some people. Um, I don't need the key to the tower, but I can't get rid of it. Uh, I do have, oh yeah, I, this stuff can go. Cookie, uh, the cookie can go. The cookie's gone. The cup of coffee, Paula, drink that, because you're sophisticated, you're very sophisticated. Uh, Paula, drop the snake. Why do you have a snake? Uh, Paula, <laughs> um, what else can you do? Fun fact, you can actually heal uh, the the 
teddy bears and the super plush bears back to full life uh, by giving them to Escargo Express and then getting them back. Yeah, you can. Uh, the pizza, I don't really want because it doesn't do much. Drop. And what else? No, that looks like it. Okay. Yeah, that is that is in fact it. Let's get this IQ capsule. And then have Paula feed the IQ capsule to Jeff. Raises his IQ by one. And he is 30, 33,000 experience before he gets to level 46, where he will probably get an IQ and be able to repair the item. Awesome. So let's go. After we fight this enemy, or these enemies. Indeed, although that seems very pointless why we even entered that battle at all, we have Dungeon Man with us. And these enemies now pose no threat at all. Uh, let's use some of our highest level attacks and attack them, like I should say say we would, because why would we not attack them? The Super Plush Bear is probably going to die pretty quickly, in fact it did, but Dungeon Man is going to carry us, even though we don't really need carrying. But he's going to be dealing a lot of damage and helping us farm, because I want to get Jeff to level 46 so we can finally fix that broken cannon, or whatever it's called. Let's let's hopefully destroy all these enemies. Uh, bash tax should clean up. Psychic shield doesn't matter because I'm using bash tax. So that was scrapped, and dungeon man tax does a lot of damage to the UFO, and we should finish it off. Hopefully, we're actually taking a lot of damage. That's kind of upsetting. But we're we're fine anyway. Thirteen hundred, uh, thirteen thousand experience each. But like I said, I want to do a little bit of farming just to get. Uh, Jeff up to the level. Paul's level is now 48. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 4. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 2. Oh, baby. Guts went up by 3. IQ went up by 2. Oh, baby. Luck went up by 3. HP went up by 1. That rocks. PP went up by 10. Jeff's level is now 46. Offense went up by one, guts went up by one, luck went up by one, HP went up by three. Game. The game didn't give me a level up. Ah, oh, that stinks. Oh, that stinks so bad. Oh, it smells bad. Oh, 44 IQ. He's one away. And uh, didn't get the level up. Ah. Well, whatever. Whatever. Guark. No, oh no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Hmm, I cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. Ness, it makes me sad, but I must say goodbye here at my eternal resting place. That's so sad. Why? Why is that his eternal resting place? Why does he have to be so sad there? Also, why did the the enemy spawn there? That makes no sense. And I'm gonna fight these enemies just because I want to level up. Ness's level is now 52. Oh baby! Offense went up by three. Defense went up by two. Guts went up by two. Vitality went up by two. IQ went up by two. Ah, I wish I'd get Jeff had gotten that. I luck went up by two. Sweet. HP went up by 30. That rocks. PP went up by eight. Mega level up for Ness. Oh my goodness, he's already a beast. He doesn't need to become bigger. Why can't <laughs> Jeff get the one IQ? Ah, a scary place called the Deep Darkness is on the other side of the river. Those monsters are very strong, and you can lose your health just by wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river, even though you know it's a stupid idea? Yes. The swamp is bottomless. Even if you're swimming, you'll be dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine. Batman? Well, where? who do we know as a submarine? Well, there's only one person around besides that tiki dude, and it's it's Dungeon Man. Uh, a submarine? I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. So we're in Dungeon Man once again. Uh, if I can... You know what? Jeff may get a level up. I'm going to fight every enemy I see, but I will cut it out, and I will meet you at the top so we can hopefully get the thing, the submarine. Be right back. At the top, and alas, Jeff did not meet, get a level up. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on the which exit you take. You need to take the goodbye exit. Hope to see you again. 
He's such a cheery dude, even though he's a wall and he's also a man dungeon. Dungeon man. Man that has an affinity for. No. Dungeon that has affinity for man. No. Dungeon. His name's Dungeon Man. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that. But his name's Dungeon Man. Okay. There's a present here. Let's open the present. There's a talisman ribbon inside. This is a ribbon for Paula that gives plus 60 defense and plus 30 luck, I believe. If I'm wrong, on screen right now is the is the deal. And finally, uh, the Mr. Saturn coin is outscaled, or Mr. Saturn ribbon. Yeah, that is outscaled. Finally, it's it's outlived its usefulness. Oops, no, 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 I didn't mean to do that. I set up a telephone line in the dungeon. I wonder if it, if that's controversial. What? I I don't get I don't get that joke. That's kind of beyond me. Old vehicle collection. This is my secret hobby. Brick Road. Okay, let's examine these vehicles. Taxi with no engine. Beautiful. Even though the thing doesn't run. Brick Road. Broken down old submarine. The yellow co color is purely coincidental. Also, do not get the joke there either. This is a, this is a gift from Dr. Anonuts. Be careful how you use it. Brick Road. Rusty bicycle. Rust. <laughs> Rust is the perfect brick. That is good. They caught me off guard. That is, that's pretty good. Rust is the perfect brick. <laughs> oh boy, I love Earthbound. So so good. Also, if I had, if I had the IQ, I could repair the thing. Jeff, check the broken submarine. Yes, it can still work. Ness and his friends carried out the submarine that Jeff fixed. Without any further ado, we will bid Dungeon Man or Brick Road adieu and move on to the next area with the Skyrunner music. Even though we're kind of opposite from the sky, we're in water. But we are in water nonetheless. We're in a submarine and we're doing stuff. Going through the Sea of Periwinkle. And we're, we're going. <laughs> look at us move. Look at us move. We're moving. And here we are! We're no longer in Periwinkle, we're in blue. And we're moving! <laughs> Look at us go. Nah, we're, we see land, land ho, and now we're with darker water. We see land and monkeys, and we are here. This is the deep darkness. First thing is a bird, a toucan bird, a telephone bird. We could use him as a phone. And a monkey. Monkey. The monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. Do you want to spend the night here? No, because I don't have the IQ. Wait, what did he say? Uh, you can stay here for free. Do you want to? No. I swear, it doesn't smell like monkeys. That's that's funny. Uh, but the deep water will make us drown. Who swims like this? I don't know. But apparently, Ness, Paula, and Jeff swim like this, and they take two damage every time the screen flashes red. Not that bad, but still, it's something to watch out for because you can die from that. And there's a, a dude. Shh, don't talk so loud. What do you want? Uh, he has a combat yo-yo. Ironically, he has, an, he has an, uh, a weapon for Paula. Usually, he only has things for Jeff, but he also has a multi-bottle rocket, which I'll stock up on next episode. But first, I would like to talk to these people over here. I heard monkeys living in the desert, in some desert, can teleport. Oh, you learned how to teleport from the monkeys? I want to try. Will you tell me how to do it? Sure. Okay, I, I'll try it. Oh, he, he was close. He was pretty close. I'll never give up. I want to try again. He's, he's doing it. That's extremely hard to do, but he's doing it. He's doing it. He did it. Second try. It took me first try. Ha. Huh. I'm better than you, monkey. I did it. Did you see me? That was awesome. Here's a small gift to thank you. Ness got the monkey's love. This is an in-game, in-battle item that does stuff. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy. I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to the small rural vi village. A businessman that is truly tough has to travel this far for the best opportunities. And I'm a tough businessman, yes sir. I'm also a representative of the doctor over here. A, do you want to buy? B, do you want to heal? Needless to say, this is a rural village. <laughs> we have poor items. 
Hello there, how may I help you? Can I get you anything? Uh, you have diamond bands for half price. You have a charm coin, which I'm not sure off the top of my head what it does. Secret herb and other stuff. Cup of noodles, which is cup of life noodles light, I believe. And a bottle of DX water, which I will buy once I have poo again in my party. We have this guy. I'm not sure what this guy is. I don't feel like it's necessary for us to talk. What? What is his sprite? I have no clue. It's weird. Very strange. It's really dark here in the deep darkness, isn't it? It's pretty creepy, don't you think? If you don't have the Hawkeye here, you're helpless. Well, Escargo Express does have the Hawkeye, so we're not completely sunk, even though that's how we swim in this area. This is the deep darkness. When you walk, th walk through the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called the deep darkness. I want to become a pig! If I become a pig, then I can find the mushrooms called the magic truffles. They're located in the swamp and can be found by scent. You know, a pig's nose would be enough to find those great truffles by scent alone. That's a great one-liner. I want to become a pig. Said by a monkey, who is not a pig. Pretty close, but actually not close at all. So, that'll be it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and next time we will be going through the deep darkness after I contact Escargo Express, which I will do right now before I forget. Um, I release new episodes of Earthbound Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. My screen flashes red from time to time, and I will see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Earthbound, where we will be going through the deep darkness. See you guys next time. Paladin out, yo. In the darkness. I'm in the darkness. Darkness. Darkness.